Hi guys, Chicago has another stay at home order issued, so you know what that means. Yay! I'm just doing my roots today, which is kind of boring, but I'm making it a little more spicy because I'm not just gonna tone them, I'm gonna do this really fun fuchsia pink color from Manic Panic. I also realized something that I'm sure many people realized before I realized it, and that's that this left chunk is a little, little bit bigger than this right chunk. There's like this piece right here that I don't have over here. So I'm gonna bleach this first and then do my roots and then... I also, I have straight hair right now, so I thought it would just be like a little easier to section everything off and also my hair is very greasy because I try to extend the life of straight hair as long as I can whenever I go through the effort to actually straighten it, which is not frequently. Basically, I actually really like how the orange hair that I did for Halloween faded. It's like a very like peachy rose gold blonde color. It did fade pretty quickly though. So this is the same brand, Manic Panic, like same strain of dye. So I'm expecting this to fade pretty quickly as well. So I'm expecting this to fade pretty quickly as well. Like this is the tiniest, most inconsequential strand of hair, but I've just been noticing it a lot lately and it bothers me and uh, I don't really have much else to do, so I'm gonna fix it. Anyways, yeah, I bleached my hair two processes to get to the like level of lightness that it is now. So I'm just doing this strand, I'm gonna wash it out. I'm just gonna do it again in the same day because I don't know if it really makes a difference or not if I wait and I don't wanna wait. And then when I do the roots like of this, I'll do like the rest of my roots too. Probably none of that made sense, but that's okay. I got so many comments on the Narcissa video like, it didn't lift evenly because you didn't fold the foil, you just crinkled it. And I'm like, I honestly don't know how to like fold the foil proper on my hair, but I'll try with this strand to appease the people. I'm always one to appease the people. I like to paint it on because it makes me feel professional, but it also takes a really long time. So we're just gonna, all right, yeah, I'm leaving about half an inch, quarter inch at the top with no bleach. Need way more bleach on this strand of hair though. This is like not a technical hair teaching video. Like I, I'm not a hairstylist regardless, but if you would, like, want to learn more about my bleaching process and everything, watch my Narcissa video. This one is not gonna be quite as edumacational as that one was. That most definitely does not count as folded nicely. It's still quite crinkly, but it does the job. I'm gonna let that process for max processing time, which is 45 minutes, not doing an incubation thing because I literally don't know how with just one little strand of hair like this, but I will when I do my roots. Don't worry, don't worry, Brad Mondo. I'm gonna be back once this little strand is lifted. Like, not really sure. If I should still use this. Like it still smells bleachy. I feel like I remember Brad Mondo saying like as long as it stays moist, it still processes. But maybe I hallucinated that, I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna do the second process on this strand, let it sit for like 20 minutes on its own. And while that's after that sits for a bit, I'm gonna come back, do the roots for the whole shebang. How about it, laddies? I have a feeling a lot of this bit of hair is probably gonna fall out, but like, it's just one little chunk, so it's fine, right? I sprayed a teensy bit of rose water on this foil. Again, don't really know if that'll help incubate, but it didn't lift like super much. Like, it definitely lifted more my first process when I first dyed my hair. Okay, that was actually a pretty good fold. Are we proud? Because I'm proud. All right, I'm gonna set a timer. 15 minutes, 20 minutes, I don't know. We'll see, 15, I'll do 15. Be safe, conservative with the amount of time I leave to do my roots, because it is a little bit trickier than doing the rest of me hair. And finally, it is time for the main event, doing my roots. I'm a little, a little stressed, because it's hard. The last time I did it, I don't think I did that great of a job, but you know what? It's fine. All right, I have even more bleach mixed up, hopefully. 
this is enough. Um, this brush that came with my first pack of Manic Panic bleach I got is nice and tiny from in this kit. It was a different brush. They definitely were like kits that were produced at different times. The first time I got it from Sally Beauty, this time I got it from Amazon, so yeah. The thing that's like really tough about doing roots is that you're not really supposed to overlap because A, it lightens everywhere it touches, obviously, but like it, that overlap, like it, it's already bleached hair. Um, and I don't really know what the trick to that is other than really precise hands. So I'm trying my best, I'm obviously not perfect. Um, but just a warning if you're doing your roots at home, like if you damage like that overlapping part too much, like it can make your hair fall out. Um, just like pretty much any interaction with bleach can do to your hair though, so. It's actually so bad. You're probably cringing so hard while watching this. I cringed while watching this and I, it's my hair. Mm. And we're kind of sort of incubating. It doesn't really cover, but we're gonna pretend. All right, so I have a timer set for 15 minutes. I'm gonna keep an eye on it the whole time. I could do this up to 30 minutes based off of like the time left from this, but I think 15 is gonna be enough just seeing how light the roots are already getting because the heat helps it process really, really quick. Then I'm gonna wash my hair. I'm gonna use this shampoo from Finola. They reached out to me after my last video and offered to send me some fun stuff to try out and it says it's a reconstructing shampoo that's good for dry hair. I don't want to put conditioner on my hair because I'm doing the semi-permanent dye tomorrow and I don't want anything to like interfere with letting that dye really soak into my hair. Um, but this says it's like reconstructing and moisturizing so it seems like a good happy medium and uh, I'll be back tomorrow to do the pink streaks. All right, time to go pink. This is how my little bleach job turned out. We've definitely got some different tones going on in here because the old hair has like remaining semi-permanent dye and this hasn't been toned or anything. So there's like a solid line of like yellow versus pink and then like ugly shade of blonde compared to like my skin tone. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm just brushing through tangles and everything to help make sure the color goes on nice and smoothly. And this is the dye, Manic Panic Fuchsia Shock. I already got some on my hands opening this. I'm just gonna wipe the <laughs> little seal thingy over it. It's a very, very like purpley magenta type shade. This just smells like vegetables. And I'm plastic bag wrapped. This A helps keep color from transferring onto anything while I'm just chilling by doing, minding my business around the house. And it helps lock in heat, which will help the cuticle open up and it will absorb the color better. You can basically leave deposit only a dye on like infinitely. It's not gonna really do anything to your hair. I'm gonna go um, and try to clean up the massive amounts of purple I have all over myself right now. And uh, when I rinse this out, I'm doing conditioner only. I'm going to do a rinse with some vinegar because that 
helps close the cuticle and seal the color in. And yeah, so I'll be back to show you the color tomorrow. And this is how it turned out. And this is actually after like six washes because I have the attention span of a chinchilla and I always forget to finish the videos that I've started. So I did this like three weeks ago at this point. I, I'll pop up a picture of how it looked when I first did it. I don't think this is faded like at all. At this point, I've kind of been trying to fade it because I really wasn't planning on having pink hair for this long. I definitely thought it was gonna fade kind of quickly because I'm used to manic panic fading quickly, but it is what it is. <laughs> It is a fun color. Uh, a lot of people think it's more of a red than a pink, but I think it's like a fun hot pink color. So yeah, this is how it looks. Uh, let me know if y'all have any other questions. Hope you enjoyed watching another somewhat chaotic hair dye video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I love y'all. And uh, currently trying to figure out what color I'll dye these next. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. Maybe I'll... Uh, do your color suggestion. <laughs> um, I love you guys and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye!